Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I'm coming on tonight to do a share um, of some stamps that I got recently and then I thought I would add to the video by um, sharing some of the stamps that I have in my stash too. Um, so in a couple of videos ago, you might uh, recall that I made this card uh, using some stamps that I uh, purchased recently on eBay. Uh, features this little snowman here and then it's uh, some authentic paper and then I use the a uh, little edge of the authentic paper for the sentiment banner there. Um, this stamp came from um, these uh, sets here that I picked up called Twigs Primitive Collection, Snowman 1 and 2, and these are from Rubber Stamp Concepts. Um, I'll leave a link to their store um, in the description box because it's not actually the URL that's here on the um, paperwork. Um, but I picked up some additional sets um, from this company recently. Um, and the reason for that is because it's really hard to find a true primitive style stamp. Um, and so when I came across these two um, on eBay, um, I went searching for more and came across the website. And uh, funny enough, Jill Norwood texted me one evening as I was looking at the website and trying to get an order in. So I thought that was kind of funny that she said that she had just ordered some and had posted a video about them. So um these stamps are truly loved, um, and this particular style is truly loved um, by me, but it's um, kind of a unique style, and I think what um, artists have done over the years is, um, if this particular style isn't um, doing as well, they've kind of softened the primitive look somewhat, and I'll share some examples of that as well. Um, so these are in a true primitive style. Primitive style is a very homespun, um, handmade look, um, so you can see those uneven stitching and, um, I don't know, there's all kinds of cute little, uh, very handmade details. But these are the two sets I picked up on eBay. And then I um, ordered from the, direct from their website, I ordered these two sets here. Um, this one is called um, Pumpkin Harvest. So you get that cute flower with the crow. And a lot of primitive art will use um, a lot of the same imagery, pumpkins and crows, little twiggy vines. Um, you'll see uh, very similarly, like elongated noses and things like that. It's like, like this nose here is elongated. You'll see lots of buttons used. Um, so here are the X's, they've actually um, sewn a button on to keep the eye in place. So, and then I also ordered this set here. This one is called Give Thanks. It has some cute snowmen. Um, so what I did is I actually ordered them as uh, just red rubber, no cling at all, because I actually had a package of this cling that I won at a, like a stamp event probably 15 years ago, and I had never opened it. And there was 10 sheets of cling in here, so I knew that I could um, actually use this um, to adhere to the back of the red rubber and then trim it out. Um, so now I have uh, cling sets instead of just plain rubber. So, um, but they do offer, when you purchase these stamps, they do offer you the option of purchasing them already on the cling and cutout as well. So, um, I also ordered um, these sets, and I'm keeping my sets in these um, containers from Stampendous. These are the thin container, and they are just deep enough to hold um, the cling mounted rubber stamps. And um, I think I probably shared some of these in previous um, like stamp storage videos or something like that. Um, so I also ordered this set here. This one is called Moon and Stars. And this is what it looks like. So again, you can see the elongated noses. There will also be lots of stars used in primitive artwork. So I love the kitty. And the cat, the word cat is actually cross-stitched in. <laughs> I think that's cute. Another kitty down here. And then I ordered this set here. It's called Seasonal Jars. So this would be like your fall season with the crow. Um, this would be your spring season with the bunny. Here's the winter season with the snowman. And then summer. Uh, with the uh, summer flowers and the American flag. So really cute there. And then I, the last one I ordered was this one here. 
And this one is called Seasonal Fences. They had other sets as well. Uh, these are just the ones I chose. And I did save money by purchasing just the red rubber, knowing that I had the cling already here at the house. So winter fence and then the autumn fence is really cute too. So I think these are really fun. I'm so happy to have these in my stash because like I said, it's really hard to find this particular style um, of artwork in a rubber stamp. And Twigs, um, she's a well-known primitive artist. She has patterns and things like that as well. So let me move these off to the side and share with you some of the other prim style stamps that I have in my stash. Um, and earlier I mentioned how I think artists have kind of softened the primitive look. Um, I have a couple examples of that. Um, but I have various different stamp companies that have put out a primitive style um, artwork. This one is from Lock, uh, Lockhart Stamp Company. They were a Washington stamp company. They were in California for a while. Um, then I think they moved up to Washington um, in the Seattle area. So they had um, lots of uh, simple line art like this that was really nicely uh, filled in with like little twigs and berries and things like that, which is very uh, reminiscent of the primitive style. So I love their artwork. Um, I don't know if you recently saw a video that I shared a haul where I had a little strawberry basket. It was a uh, little bowl with strawberries in it. That was from this company as well and very much in the same style. Um, so there's this little beauty. This is called Hen Party. And this is in the primitive style as well. And this is from Stamp Passions. And so she's real cute. And she doesn't actually have um, all her facial features in. She just has eyes and some rosy cheeks. Um, uh, rusty Jingle Bells, um, Rusty Wire. Those are all things that are uh, prominent in the primitive um, design world as well. So this one is from um, Stampington and Company, and this artist is uh, Deb Strain, and she's one of my favorite um, stamp illustrators as well. In fact, she does a lot of fabric lines and things like that for different um, fabric companies. So I think she has some really cute art. And this is called Flower Peddler from 1998. So I love her stamps. And then I have this one as well from Deb Strain. This one is called Sugar Baker, also from Stampington and Company. And there's a couple others in this series um, that I would like to get. I picked these up used years ago. Um, they were kind of beat up already, this one particularly. Uh, there's a couple others that I'd like to get from the same uh, series that she released. So again, this is from Stampington and Company, 1998. And then, let's see. Um, this is another primitive um, style. This one is from a PXX from 1996. There's no artist on this, but this is uh, the Raggedy Angel that I shared uh, in my um, curating for Christmas sneak peek. Um, she was up on a shelf, and so this little doll is very much in the primitive style. You can see she looks very handmade. She's got buttons for eyes. She's got little twiggies for hair, so very much in a primitive handmade style, so I love her. Here's another one from PSX. So you can see his like accentuated features. You know, his proportions are not all that are not all that accurate. So that's very much primitive style. Inky Antics has a lot of stamps in the primitive style. Um, and I have many, not as many as I would like to have. Um, but Tammy D. Young, they have several artists that worked with them, have worked with them in the past that were um, artists in the primitive style. Tammy D. Young was one of them. And this is one of her images. And this is from 2000. It's called Garland Angel. Real cute. Um, this stamp is from Judykins. And it's from Carmen's Veranda. That's the name of the artist, Carmen's Veranda. And it doesn't have a name on it, but it's 9061H from Judy Kins. And I love this angel. So again, you can see the buttons um, holding the star detail on there. So I think that's really cute. Um, here are some more from Inky Antics. I have a lot of snowmen from Inky Antics in the primitive style. So there's this particular one here. This one is um, from Buttermilk Basin, who's a very popular um, fabric 
and textiles artist. She does a lot of uh, wool felt patterns, um, 3D primitives and things like that. And she's been one of my favorites for a very long time. This stamp was given to me in 2006 from my friend Minetta. She sent it to me as part of a care package. And so I made note of that on the stamp there so I would remember. So thank you, Minetta. <laughs> um, here's another one uh, by Buttermilk Basin. And this is uh, the Inky Antics uh, line. But the designer is Buttermilk Basin. So a cute little snowman there. You can see he's very much in the primitive style with elongated features and like very uh, rough drawn, roughly drawn. Um, this one is from Impression Obsession. No, it is not. This one is from, who is this from? Stampa Rosa. Oh, you know why I know this? I thought this was from Impression Obsession. This is Elisa Baker. Yes, see, this is from Elisa Baker. She actually draws for Impression Obsession um, now. So that's why I thought this was from Impression Obsession. <laughs> so uh, I think you can actually get this image from Impression Obsession currently. Um, but I love um, Elisa's art. She has a lot of uh, images that are very cute and in the primitive style. Um, here's another one. Let's see. This little tree is very much in the primitive style. It's just very kind of twiggy and full of little berries sitting in a little bucket. This one is from Great Impressions, which is another Washington State stamp company. And this one as well, very much primitive. It's called Tiny Tree, and this one's actually from Penny Black from 2005. So cute. Um, here's another uh, primitive style. This one's also from Buttermilk Basin from Inky Antics. So you've got a little stack of gingers there and a, like a wash tub or a um, enamel bowl. That's pretty cute. So Inky Antics Buttermilk Basin. And then here's another one from Buttermilk Basin for Inky Antics. Another little stack of gingers in a basket there. So aren't they cute? These are pretty rare stamps, by the way. Um, this one is also from Buttermilk Basin and it is a four snowman. And they're peeking through like a window frame, I think. So I think that's really cute. And then this one also from Buttermilk Basin. You can tell she's one of my favorite artists. Uh, this one is Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. And it's like a little, uh, almost like a picket fence of snowmen. So real cute. I love the primitive style. I love how simplistic it is. I love all the little details that they add with the, there's usually lots of stars and um, little speckles and polka dots and things like that. This one's also from Inky Antics. This one's from Tammy D. Young. So I love the little twiggy um, hair on the snowman angel. Adorable. Here's another one from Tammy from Inky Antics. This snowman has a chicken on her head and she has some tulips there behind her. I think she's real cute. Here's another one from Tammy. And this is just five uh, snowman portraits drawn in the primitive style. And then here's another one from uh, Buttermilk Basin. This is another uh, fairly rare stamp. It's a teddy bear holding a star. And then here's a sentiment that goes with um, the gingers in the basket, a basket full of beautiful wishes. And this is also from Buttermilk Basin from Inky Antics. So I love that. So I'd mentioned earlier when artists kind of softened the primitive style. I really think this was done um, by Deb, um, Deb Strain, um, who was the artist of these ladies. So they're not quite you know, a primitive, primitive art can get kind of ugly <laughs> um, if they do it on the extreme side. And these aren't as, you know, they don't have ugly features. Um, you know, they're not torn. They're not torn up and have patches everywhere. Um, like they've been left out in the yard for a season or two. Um, <laughs> I think, and while this is just my guess, I think the artist of a lot of um, Stampin' Up! stamps is Deb Strain. And I've never heard heard anybody confirm that, but that's just my opinion. Um, this is uh, three sets that I have in this container. Um, one of them is called Garden Angel. 
There's also Betsy Beekeeper and Nellie Nest Lady. And I think Deb Strain is the artist of this particular style. Let me show you some of these. So this is the Garden Angel. And uh, she is drawn in the primitive style, but she's not quite as ugly as you might think of as a handmade um, doll of a true primitive style, an old, old world primitive style. But she still has the elongated features. She still has, you know, hand stitching details. Um, and she's very much in a, in a um, unprecise drawn way. Look at her little wings done as twigs. I love that. So I think this artist is the same, just a guess. Then there is uh, Betsy Beekeeper, and there are others. I mean, this what whoever this artist was for Stampin' Up, they had a lot of art um, for Stampin' Up in the late '90s and the 2000s, early 2000s. Um, so this is Betsy Beekeeper. She's done in the same style. I love her shoes. She's got a little bee down on her toe. Really cute. And then the last one in this particular case that I have. And like I said, there are others. I just didn't pull them out. Um, this is, uh, what did I say her name was? Uh, Nellie, Nest, Nellie Nest Lady. So she's got a little nest on her head. She's got one here, and she's holding all those birdhouses. And she also is very much drawn in, in a primitive style. So, I don't know. What's your opinion? Do you think the artist is the same? <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I thought I would share these. Um, the ones that I pulled out are just really my uh, holiday, um, winter holiday stamps. I do have more like bunnies and things like that too that I can share at a later time, uh, maybe come spring. Um, but I just thought this was fun. I was really excited to find the new stamps, or new to me anyways, from um, Rubber Stamp Concepts with the Prim Snowman and the pumpkins and things like that. And so I was really happy to add those to my collection. So anyway, I hope this was fun for you. Um, I don't know if there are a lot of people that are interested in this particular style. I know some of us obviously are. Um, Jill, P. Um, so if you love this style, leave me a comment down below and let me know. And maybe you have some images that I've never seen before. Um, so if you can share them, that would be wonderful. I would love to see. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.